it's Sarah. I have been busy, you guys. I know I was painting Maxine Thomas. Oh, by the way, there she is. My little angel is done. I did not film much more of her. Um, I just didn't feel inspired. And I, but I finished her. She's all varnished, and she will go in my craft room. The other little Maxine project that I wanted to do, I didn't have a piece of wood that fit it, so I kind of lost my mojo. And then I happened to see on Facebook Holly Hangley. She's a young lady who I didn't know of back in the day. She's probably a new painter. Um, she had so I follow her on Facebook. She has YouTube. She has a YouTube channel, you guys. So there are tutorials on her page, on her YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description. So I got this pattern. I've been I was kind of debating um, I need to start painting some ornaments for Christmas. So I, you know, I I just have to feel inspired, I'm telling you. I, I like to do um, Tracy. Moreau's uh, Random Acts of Kindness. I like to give ornaments to my neighbors and, um, you know, people at the grocery store, all you know, my chiropractor, different things like that. So anyway, when I saw these, now, they're not ornaments, but I'm going to show you what I did. These are called Chunky Christmas Fence Board Friends, and the tutorials to make these are on her YouTube channel. I paid $10 and I got the pattern so it tells you all the colors you need pictures and you get all the um, the patterns for the each character there's four little characters and I'll show you mine so I, I'm gonna set that aside here's my Santa I mean she takes you can't even fit he's so big so this is made from um, like a here, here's my penguin. I have to still do my penguin and my reindeer. They're made from, I think it's called 8x2, 2x8. Let's see, 2x6s. They're 2x6s. So Joe went and bought me a big board and he cut them down for me and he sanded them and everything. And I just made them, like it tells you in the packet how to do it. And then I followed her, her tutorial. Now, there is no floating in, in her work, okay? So I did it the way she taught it, and I feel like I was successful, so I feel like any beginner can do this. I do have the brushes, or at least one of the brushes that she uses, which is called, and I've mentioned it before, because it's kind of like my new um, dry brush. It's a lunar blender, it's called, and Michael sells these. So I had gone and picked up a few of them, quite a few in different sizes. And this is the brush that she kind of uses to do all this. She's a dry brusher and a wet on wet painter. Um, and I mean, and it's fast, you guys. She's, I think I'm a fast painter, but she is super fast uh, painter. So this is my Santa. She actually had and she shares with you, um, she went to the dollar store and got all her little embellishments for them. The, the hat she uses for her Santa was a dog's Christmas hat. So it fit this board perfectly because I went to the dollar store and I got, oh, sorry, I'm reaching down, the regular. So this is the human size hat, right? It's a dollar. So I cut it apart and I just made it fit my little Santa and I cut off the trim and I just glued it on and then I uh, I just painted a star to match the belt and kinda pulled it up. Oh, everybody just came home. Hey babe, I'm filming. Okay, it'll be back. I gotta take another trip. Okay. So um I I just love it. And so they stand by themselves. It is so quick too. Oh and then she uses all this good stuff, the glamour glitter and I just put um, glossy accents on his glasses to make them shine. So that's my Santa. And then here's my snowman. Look how cute. Now this is Holly's design. And then I went and got, this is actually a sock. The dollar store sells these fluffy socks and she shares with you in the videos how you cut them apart and make it into a scarf. 
And this actually, she didn't use a hat. This is a little kid's hat from the dollar store. And I just, he didn't have a pom-pom, so I got a dollar store, um, this is just all, I went to the dollar store and I just bought a bunch of stuff that I thought I could use. It's a necklace that had bells on it. So I took the bells off and I just kind of hooked them to the top of the hat to make a little pom-pom. And this was in my stash and I just glittered it up and hot glued it on. So he is, he or she, it could be either one, is my little snow person. All right, so those two are done. And then look what I did. I made little mini me's. Look, here's a mini me. So this is an ornament and they're pretty big. These are six, seven inches. These are little wood that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm trying to see if it says something. Horizon Group USA Inc. I don't know. But it's little, I don't know. I think it's over in the um, carving section or something. So I made a little mini Santa and I cut uh, from the from the remnants I kind of cut and made him a hat and then I just glittered up embellishments and put that on there and you could go crazy so I have to just add a little hanger I mean they're big but then I also found I had these so I'm gonna make because I still have two more to make I have to make my reindeer and my penguin so I'll make them a little smaller but I just I had to, I only had two I think I have one more actually of this size wait here they are I have a bunch more of this size so I'm probably gonna make at least I'm gonna make a couple more of these the snowman is super easy because it's very few colors so I might just make snowmen you know um, and this little one it's a it's one of those socks I just cut the bottom of it or actually from the tip this is where it would your foot goes in and I cut it and then I just tied a knot around the end and like made this little kind of pom-pom thing I don't know and then I used another sock that was like checkered but similar colors to make the scarf I just have to put a hanger so I'm gonna probably try and do the same thing with this um, the socks will probably be a little bigger and stuff like that but it's fun so it it, it makes me um, excited to get my to get in the craft room again so this is what I'm doing guys I'm crafting what my spirit tells me to do I can't force myself um, I, I mean luckily I don't have to do it for a job and I'm able to do it for enjoyment and I really just want to enjoy the process and when it stops being fun I'll stop doing it um, but I think these are my ornaments this year I have to make a little reindeer and a little penguin and I will share those with you as well and those of you who are into the decorative painting um, I'll put in the link Holly Hanley and she only has a few videos but she's a different style of painter than I am so if floating was difficult for you maybe you'll take to this um, she has a such a cute Halloween one on there she does a garden post like it's called a butterfly garden fence post or something or a light post it's a four-sided post I was watching that last night and she's just kind of like a, a free form painter um, which I just felt inspired when I saw it oh my gosh I can't with the bells Sorry, it's so cute um, and so yeah so see this is a sock that I cut apart too I just made a little bit of a smaller one and this is a hat an actual little kids hat fit the board all right so that's really it that's all I wanted to share um, I hope everyone's doing well this is Thanksgiving week it's Tuesday we are gonna go to my uh, my sister-in-law's house but we've all been quarantining she's gonna have the windows open we're gonna you know we'll see if the masks stay on but we're gonna try um, but just whatever you do be safe and um, make sure you're, you're doing what makes you happy all right that's it guys thanks for watching